In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Datapop 2 from Stupid Raisins. Datapop is a set of professionally designed infographic titles that are easily customizable, will save you time, and give your projects an extra punch. Datapop 2 was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Titles browser under Stupid Raisins Datapop. There are 22 titles in 11 different categories included in this effect. Let's take a look at a few of them. For our first example, I want to show you the nested effect from the circles category. I have complete control of text, fonts, and colors by simply selecting the text on screen and adjusting it in the text panel. Clicking over to the title panel, we have a lot of customization we can do. First off, the title includes build-in and build-out animations, which we can toggle on and off. Under the Legends section, we have control over the number data on the left of the screen. Let's change our format to dollars. We can also control the size, opacity, and rotation of the dataset, and adjust the label's position as well. Under the Circles section, we can adjust the number of circles, which will add or subtract data points on the set we just adjusted. We can change the size. The curvature slider goes from square to circular and everything in between. You can change the end caps from round to square or bevel. The different circle sections allow us to scrub through values, which update on the text data set on the left. You can completely customize the look of the circles as well as give them your own color scheme. Skipping down to the camera animation, you can toggle the camera sweep on and off. I'll leave it on, but I can customize the axis to tilt on X and adjust the start and end angles. There's also a cool depth of field effect. You can adjust the blur amount and the focus offset of the camera. Finally, the background controls allow you to make the background a gradient, solid color, or transparent for compositing over footage. This looks great. I'll show you another great effect, new in this version, vertical 3D bars. This gives you another dynamic way to display data, including 3D bars and 3D text with lighting and material effects. The 3D graphs are a bit different than the other templates. First off, there are no on-screen controls for 3D. You have to change the height using the height sliders in the inspector or by typing your data in by the numbers. To change the lighting and materials of the bars or the text, select the corresponding item in the canvas. You can select the bars at the bottom. Then you can change its look via the Final Cut Pro built-in 3D text parameters. And again, the build-in and out animations and the camera move give you a lot of style with minimal effort. Datapop is a must-have effect to add to your editing toolbox with endless opportunities for customization. Your clients will think you spent hours animating for them when amazing animations can be completed in minutes. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.